Yesterday, the off day was nice, but I'll put it in comparison to going out with your boys, getting hammered, getting drunk, because you're upset about, I don't know, a breakup or anything going on in your life. It's an escape. It's an escape for the night. You're going out with your boys. You're not worrying about it. But then you wake up the next day and realize, ah, damn, I'm still heartbroken. Or I'm still upset about whatever you were upset about. That's how I feel about the Phillies. Yesterday was an off day, so I didn't think about them too much. And I wake up this morning, and reality is they still stink. Their management is a joke, and I'm still fired up about them. I'm I'm scared. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm scared. I'm scared for the future. The path with this upper management, this hitting coach, these scouts, player development, it's not going to be fixed unless we actually make a change. And I don't know if we are going to make a change. Gabe Kapler should be fired after this season. He should be gone. And that's the most realistic option, I believe. It's the most realistic option. John Middleton just gave his extensions to McPhail and Klintak behind closed doors. So I can't imagine him pulling the trigger on these two guys. But it's to the point where I look at this team and I don't know how things are going to change unless major things change. Hidden coach, John Malley, we've been talking about it for a while now. Take a look at someone like Reese Hoskins, for example. How many times is he popping the ball up? If he was in the New York Yankees organization, I swear to you, he would have 50 home runs by now. He would be tearing it up. I don't know if we're approaching this correctly with Reese Hoskins. Because he could be a legitimate stud. He could be a legit stud. The skipper, obviously, he doesn't have a feel for the game. And that's what bothers me the most. Like, at this point, we'll get to the feel of the game. But at this point, you don't think the players listen to Gabe Kapler after the media? Or after the game speaking to the media? Saying, shut up. Shut up, Gabe. We just lost our seventh series in a row. We're not resilient. We're not out there battling it off. We're losing baseball games. Like, at what point is the positivity crap not going to work? It seems like it's already past that. Now, when I tell you he doesn't have a feel for the game, we've seen it, the way he works his bullpen. Now, for example, last game we played against the Giants, it was the Alvarez-Pavetta problem. And instead of giving... Pilar, who hit the triple off Nick Pavetta, instead of giving him first base when it was empty, and then pitching to Crawford with Alvarez, they went strictly number-based and, and threw in Nick Pavetta. But when you watch Alvarez and watch the way he's been dealing, and, and watch the way that he hasn't given up a run in how many outings, why doesn't that play a factor? Like, there's more to it. I'm out on Gabe. And then you look at what we came into the season with. You came into the season with the pitching staff of Nola, Arietta, Pavetta, Eflin, Velasquez. And it blew up in your face. And then the poor decisions like not going after Dallas Keuchel. Because what? You still believed in those, those players? Because you thought Dallas Keuchel wouldn't be an upgrade, but Drew Smiley and Jason Vargas is? I don't have the faith that this organization is going to make the right moves. I would clean house. I would clean house. New scouts, new hitting coach, new GM, new manager. I would literally clean it all up. Because this isn't working. Take a look at what we've gotten out of our tank years. What players have we actually gotten? It, 
It's ridiculous. And we needed a season like this to really see how pathetic the Phillies are. They're pathetic. The one example everyone gives me when I mention this and when I pour out my frustration is the Mets. They would have fired Mickey Calloway. They would have done this. Yeah, and guess what? Because they're on a hot streak, that doesn't mean Mickey Calloway's the the ultimate leader now. He's the ultimate skipper because they got into a little ride. Realistically, what they did was they made a move at the deadline and their team got a jolt from it. They made a move to get Strowman at the deadline and their team found some mojo. What did we do at the deadline? If we get in, we get in. Okay, yeah, that's great. If we get in, we get in. That was the message sent. And the message sent was a poor one. We have guys like JT who needs an up on his contract. Gene Segura for a couple years. Bryce Harper is obviously here for the long term. Andrew McCutcheon for another year. So cleaning house is a scary thought. Because that window of opportunity is is a couple years here. I just don't see the way we're going with this group, not players, but everyone else involved. I don't see us going in the direction that we need to go in. But the best bet is realistically getting a new skipper. As much as Gabe is Matt Klintak's guy, if we have two epic collapses in in two years... There's going to have to be a move. The fan base is over it. The fan base is over it. No one can stand this guy. So I I, I think that there's going to be a change in that spot. And if not, which is also possible, but if not, I'm going to be sick to my stomach. It's going to be hard. It's going to be hard to root for this team. Because we have organizations in this city that know what they're doing. We have upper managements in this city that are building the right way. Eagles, Sixers, Flyers are still up in the air. And they are proving to us that they are a dumpster fire. We are seeing it. We are seeing how pathetic they really are at the top. So, since the All-Star break, here's some numbers for you. 26th in runs, 27th in batting average, 26th in slugging, 25 in OPS, 26 in extra base hits. Is there a problem with the way we approach the plate? Don't tell me it's all about the hitters executing. There's a problem with the way we are up there. It's like we're lost. I made a whole video just about the way we attack the plate. It's bad. And let's not forget about how we keep Sean Rodriguez on on this team. Because he's versatile. That's great that he's versatile, but he's bad at being versatile. So how does that even help? So to keep someone like Sean Rodriguez? That's so bad. And Andrew Knapp hitting a whopping 191 with four RBIs on the season. These are the things. These are the things that eat me alive. These are the things that bother me to an elite degree. Because it shouldn't happen. Until changes are made, we're not going to change the way this team plays. And I'm not talking about for the right now. I'm genuinely concerned for the future of this team. For the future of the Phillies moving forward. I don't see things being fixed. They're delusional. They are delusional. You look, you look at the Braves. Acuna. I know Austin Riley went through a little bit of a down spurt there, but they have these players that come up and are good. Juan Soto for the Nats. We never have those players. Sure, Adam Hazley came in and was a nice piece. That's not a Ronald Acuna Jr. 
Ozzy Albies. Like, wh where are these players for the Phillies? Our player development is embarrassing. It could be our scouts. Embarrassing. Mickey Moniak in year three of his professional career. We're still wondering what is he? First overall pick. I don't know if he'll ever be up here. I'd blow this up. I'd blow it up. I can't stand it. Pisses me off. It pisses me off. And I want to know your thoughts down below. We got so many holes to fix. So many. How many starting pitchers do we need next year? Four. We need four. We need some bullpen help. Because, you know, that David Robertson experiment blew up. And every other older veteran pitcher we brought in for the bullpen. We're going to need maybe some outfield help. Some bench help. There's a lot of holes to fix. I want to hear it. I want to hear your thoughts down below. Thank you so much for listening, and I'll see you next time.